research. The section has seen growth uh, in terms of revenue correction within the college over time. And uh, currently, we have seen our module two student grow out to in excess of 100 million annually. We have also seen uh, growth in uh, module one fee up to excess of 30 million. And also, we have also seen the growth of our IGU revenue. And currently, it's also in excess of 100 million per, per year. We also have two IGU units, which are managed by UNES in the college, that the dairy farm at Kanyarere and uh, a pharmacy uh, at uh, clinical studies, which also supplements the university income by through the various activities that they undertake. The section, of course, works together with other sections under the principal's office to support the principal in uh, ensuring that the various goals and objectives have been achieved. And also, uh, in undertaking any other responsibilities that the unit may be given by or may, may be given by the principal. We have a, lab, a computer, a laboratory, which is the A resources a section uh, that has a qualified personnel who can guide the users. Uh, the users can access the A resources in the in the library. They can also access them in other workstations within the university, and at the same time, uh, the A resources are accessible. Uh, remotely. Uh, so if somebody is uh, in the research field, one can still access the resources of our, of our university. Um, the library has a very qualified staff manning all the, all the sections of the library and as such we are able to cater for the information needs of all our varied uh, library users. Uh, we, we also have electronic uh, catalog, which is uh, the OPAC. It's also accessible even outside the university. And so a student, a researcher, can be able to tell the books that we have in our library, even outside the, uh, the, the university compound. And so we are, we are able to serve them uh, adequately. They can bo borrow books from all the libraries uh, in, our, in, our, in all our campuses. So I would say that uh, our library is well endowed with the information needs. And uh, on that line, we normally collaborate with the, with the faculty members to select the books that we stock in the library so that we have the most relevant information resources uh, according to the, to the academic programs offered in the university. We have the graduate research library uh, which caters for the PhD students and the faculty members. We also have Wangari Madai collection. We also have uh, the the e resources that's where we have uh, the online databases and also cd based uh, information resources our east african collection uh, that's the local research uh, content uh, this is for the, the dissertations the theses and other uh, books that have been written locally about kenya by kenyans and uh, also by outsiders, but about Kenya, Kenya uh, situations. So uh, these collections uh, cater for, uh, for all the information needs. And so I would say that uh, our students have the information materials that they may, they, that they may require for the academic uh, programs, for the academic uh, uh, courses, and also for the research needs of the uh, college.
CAVS as a college is serviced by CAVS Clinic, which uh, is run by University Health Services. University Health Services is mandated by the university to provide health care to students, staff, and their dependents. At CAVS Clinic, we mainly see students, and we attend to staff who, who work within the college. Now, the kind of services we do for, stud uh, for students are uh, outpatient services. We treat them whenever they are sick. We give them the necessary medication. We also investigate for illnesses using our laboratory at the main campus. We offer ambulance services for emergencies. And also important to note is that we offer sensitization campaigns for HIV alcohol and drug abuse as part of preventive medicine. with no play makes Jack a dull boy. That does not apply at the upper Kabete campus. Uh, Cavs has been so active in sports comparing with other colleges in the University of Nairobi. Uh, the principal has been so supportive uh, to incorporate and coordinate all the games in the university, starting from rugby, football, basketball, lawn tennis, table tennis, and all the other indoor games, not forgetting handball. Uh, I work hand in hand with the games to ensure that all the activities in the college are at par. That is to ensure that the coordination between the captains and the players is uh, okay. We also organize many, many events which are uh, based on uh, the college. That includes uh, the principal's bull match, which is usually a very rigorous and an involving uh, activity, which usually incorporates uh, between the Faculty of Agriculture and the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. And actually, it's usually a cup which is usually held each and every year in the college. Actually, it's a tradition. We also do have uh, the fun day, which uh, is uh, an activity which incorporates all the lecturers, the staff, which are the subordinate, uh, the workers, and all the students. Actually, it's an activity best uh, to incorporate and bring harmony within the university. And uh, it incorporates all the activities, including jumping with sacks, running, football, indoor games, chess, and all the activities. We also have, uh, the, for the first time in the history of the college, we have uh, the UCFL, that is the University and Colleges Football League, and actually our football team uh, was registered for the first time. And uh, the matches, I must say, is so competitive, based on the fact that it's a nationwide uh, uh, league. And uh, the players, like uh, for example, the players from the College of Agriculture, that is the, our Cubs FC, are very, very magnificent. They play well, and uh, as, I, as I'm t talking to you right now, uh, the first leg uh, just ended and we are on top. So actually it has hit the deadline, I mean the headlines on the magazines and on TVs, actually it's so great. Uh, the college uh, is so, so active, basing on the fact that all the sports are incorporated and uh, from the principal's desk, the lecturers, the game tutor, the captains and the students, everyone is happy about all the activities happening in the college. In the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, students are prepared in various fields in both undergraduate and postgraduate levels through the following departments. Department of Veterinary Anatomy and Physiology, Department of Public Health, Pharmacology and Toxicology, Department of Veterinary Pathology, Microbiology and Parasitology, Department of Clinical Studies, 
and the Department of Animal Production. Faculty of Veterinary Medicine is one of the oldest faculties in the University of Nairobi, having been started in 1962 as a degree offering a faculty. The faculty has graduated very many veterinarians from all over the East African countries, even the Southern African countries. We have graduated more than 25,000, more than 2,500 graduates. The faculty has got, uh, in addition to veterinary medicine, we have got other BSc degrees. We have BSc degree in uh, wildlife management, BSc degree in leather technology, BSc degree in fisheries and aquaculture. Most of the <coughs> these courses were demanded by the public. There was need to have these courses. Veterinary medicine, as you know, is one of the courses which uh, we attract many students from all over in uh, many parts of Africa. At the moment, we have most of our students who are foreigners, we get them from South Africa, Namibia, and some other parts. We have even some coming from uh, Americas. The faculty has got uh, very many postgraduate uh, courses, over 20 postgraduate courses. And these courses we offer both masters and PhD uh, levels. We get students from many parts of the world to come and do postgraduate studies, both in the preclinicals and clinicals. We have uh, some collaboration with other universities in the, the faculty. At the moment, we have one which is ongoing. Our students are in the University of Helsinki. We also have students from the University of Singh here who are also going practical and uh, field experiences in the tropical areas. We also had uh, visitors from Colorado State University. As you know, the faculty was started with some initiative from Colorado State University. And uh, they are here. They have come to start some more collaborative work. The, <coughs> the faculty is uh, at the moment having uh, its BVM curriculum being reviewed. It is left with only the last stage. It has gone all the stages of curriculum review. Now it's going to Senate stage. It has passed the, Senate, the Dean's Committee and it has passed all those stages. And this is in accordance to the University of Nairobi uh, procedures where curriculum has to be reviewed every five years. This is also in accordance to the board which controls veterinary education. That is Kenya Veterinary Board. We are continuing to work towards establishing good research links with our partner universities in the US and within the East African region. The Department of Veterinary Anatomy and Physiology seeks to provide leadership in pursuit and dissemination of knowledge in anatomical and physiological sciences. We have two main core functions as a department. Uh, one is, is teaching and the other one is, is, is research. On our core function uh, of teaching, we offer veterinary anatomy and physiology to students, primarily of the Bachelor of Vet Medicine, uh, which we have a complement of about 120 students. But we also offer uh, the same courses, uh, which are foundational courses, to uh, Bachelor of Science uh, Wildlife students, Bachelor of Science Fisheries, Bachelor of Science Agriculture. Uh, we also offer uh, service courses to Bachelor of Science Foods, uh, Bachelor of Science uh, Food Science and Nutrition, Bachelor of Science Biochemistry. Uh, we offer postgraduate studies both at PhD level 
and at MSc level. Uh, we have specialized laboratories uh, that we have established uh, that engage primarily in research, and these are used by both um, lecturers or teaching staff, as well as the postgraduates that we are training. Now, these laboratories uh, include the reproductive biology unit. Uh, we also have the biotechnology lab. We have the neurophysiology lab, and we have uh, the comparative and integrative physiology lab. And we also have uh, a newly established natural products lab. Uh, further, we also have the electron microscopy lab, and we have uh, the microscopy imaging center, and finally we have the tissue culture laboratory. We also have another important function uh, of the department, the consultancies and uh, income generating units. And we offer these services to the public, we offer them to the government, and we also offer them to other institutions that are upcoming. The Department of Public Health, Pharmacology and Toxicology is another of the academic departments in the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. It offers training in a number of courses to undergraduate students studying for various courses. In addition, postgraduate programs at both Master's and PhD levels are also available in the department. In this department, there are two sections. We have the section of public health, section of pharmacology and toxicology. The department is uh, charged with the training of uh, both undergraduate and postgraduate uh, students. The, the department has a number of uh, programs uh, that it offers as postgraduate programs. We have masters in natural products and bioprospecting. We have masters in uh, pharmacology and toxicology. And we also have PhD programs, PhD in veterinary economics and uh, PhD in epidemiology, PhD in pharmacology, toxicology, PhD in uh, leather science. We also have PhD in natural products and bioprospecting. We also offer consultancy services. So we, we use our teaching labs and also we have um, good machines here for a number of uh, tests. So one of the things that we do is we do microbiological analysis of food, so food safety, anything related to food safety. Now the other thing is uh, animal feed uh, quality. Uh, the other thing we, we do here is we, we look at meat. Uh, we are giving that service for drug residue testing for meat, meat, uh, meat poultry, pig, uh, meat, uh, eggs, and so on. Now this department uh, offers international uh, programs. The programs are benchmarked internationally, and therefore the students who train here are accepted worldwide. So they can come from any country, America, they can come from UK, they can come from whichever country, and the training they get in this, uh, this place, whether BVM or uh, these other uh, training programs, I've said, or master's programs like uh, veterinary epidemiology and economics, veterinary public health, they are all programs that are accepted internationally. <music> The Department of Veterinary Pathology, Microbiology, and Parasitology is involved in providing academic services to other departments at the University of Nairobi. With highly qualified and experienced academic staff at its disposal,
The Department of Veterinary Pathology, Microbiology and Parasitology is well positioned to deliver on its academic research and outreach programs. We are a department that is concerned with the understanding of what we can technically call etiology of diseases. And etiology basically means causes of diseases. And as you may know, diseases can be caused, are uh, usually caused by microorganisms, which can be either bacterial, viral, or fungal in nature, in which case we classify them as microbes, and therefore the section of microbiology dealing with those respective uh, organisms and others that I've not mentioned like rickettsia and so on. Then we come now to other causes and the other causes could be parasitological and therefore the section of parasitology is concerned with the understanding of the major parasites that cause diseases in animals. Now pathology section on the other hand explains the mechanism of diseases caused by the different organisms. Organisms can enter the body through different routes. Okay? Once the organisms enter the body, they initiate the process of disease formation through mechanisms that are endowed uh, to these particular organisms. They have different chemicals, different attachment processes, and different multiplication processes in the body that eventually translate into production of disease. Diseases as a result of this organism trying to propagate itself within a host in order for it to survive. So the pathology section explains and understands that process and at the end of the day we come in to uh, identify the disease 